Hey there everyone, hope you're having a good day. I'm going to show you what the new Guitar Lab 6.0 software does with a G14 unit which I have currently plugged into Guitar Lab 6.0 and if you have a G1X4 with pedal it's basically the same thing. So uh, right away what you get that's new is you're able to sort each of these columns, effects, category, and power, in an ascending and descending order. Um, what's particularly of interest is your, your power uh, consumption, which uh, means how much processing power uh, this effect takes up. So the one that has the most processing power is your uh, UK30 amp. And then... Uh, I'll scroll this to the bottom so that you'll see that it'll descend to the lowest processor power consumption. So your auto pan is the lowest consumption of processing power. And then we'll go into effects ascending and descending order by name. And on top, you have a, I believe it's an auto pan delay. And then it'll go down to your Z, which is uh, zoom noise reduction. And on category, it's a little bit different. Um, it doesn't really go alphabetically. It goes by uh, groupings of how uh, Zoom convention has set it for. So your first uh, grouping is dynamics. And you get into your filters. Then you get into your drives. Then you get into your amps. Then your cabinets, modulation effects, special effects, delays, reverbs, and your last one is pedal. So hope that helps. Um, the rest of the video is going over a few observations. Um, so if you're not interested in me rambling on, then uh, go right ahead and uh, um, we'll see you later on, on this end. Okay, um, I'm just going to uh, expand on uh, this power uh, sort on ascending and descending. It's probably pretty useful of the features because... When you build a patch, you're going to have a processor limit, and this will tell you like which amp takes up the most processing. So um, the UK takes the most at 41%, and um, Fender Twin takes up uh, some 34%. And same thing with uh, all these other effects. You'll be able to find out right away how much processing power each effect will take up. So this is a pretty useful column. And um, then my next useful one would be category. And then um, your comment section won't change. And um, oh, okay, I forgot to mention that uh, you have two more sorting columns. One is uh, use, which means how many of your patches in your patch pool uses this particular effect. So in uh, what we go descending order sort. So the uh, zoom noise reduction takes up uh, 25 uh, uh, times on my uh, patch pool and the next most used is the tape echo. And then the next sort you can do is uh, by your starred 
effects. So if there are effects that you star, meaning you do a like or have priority, you can sort these by uh, having your stars on top. I usually don't care for this, so I'm not going to be using that too much. And um, that's the main uh, addition to the lab uh, Guitar Lab 6.0 for the G14 and the G1X4, and I assume also the uh, G5N, which I also have. So I have three of these devices. I haven't plugged in my G5N yet because I use my uh, G1X4 uh, the most. Um, this is a Windows 10 laptop, and uh, it does save your patch pull items that you've had before on the, your uh, Guitar Lab 5 and also your uh, clipboard. It'll save your clipboard. I did run into some interesting uh, issues with uh, a G1 4 series hooked up to uh, a Macintosh, a Mac Catalina uh, operating system uh, Catalina and it doesn't seem to, the patch pull doesn't seem to work. It didn't save any of my previous patches and um, uh, I'm not I'm not really able to uh, save uh, new patches. Um, with the uh, with a Windows 10 it works fine and you know you could just go ahead and drag and drop which is pretty cool. And also if you right click you'll get some options here like delete and if you right click on properties on uh, multiple patches saved if you go into properties it'll tell you the name and also how many patches you have saved and then if you go to single single effect or single patch you right click properties and uh, it'll tell you uh, what effects you're using so you don't have to go back and forth to the patch and effects screen um, this is just a quick way of uh, looking at things so I hope that helps uh, one thing that the uh, Guitar Lab 6.0 uh, software is geared towards it's uh, to accommodate the new G11 uh, Zoom G11 uh, multi effects processor unit, which is uh, their flagship. And right in between, I believe, uh, patch and editor, there'll be an, another area for the G11 uh, called IR. Uh, and that's where impulse response uh, capability um, will be manipulated and uh, adjusted and saved and all that good stuff. So um, hope that helps. And uh, if you like these uh, little quick tips, please like and subscribe. And uh, if there are any uh, good comments, uh, feel free to leave any comments. All right. Have a good day.